welcome dancers to the 2010 UNC Dance Marathon! I hope you are all so pumped for the best one night stand of your life. Feel good right now. We'll see. I think I think I've learned the key is not to burn yourself out in like the first three hours, and uh, if you can do that, you're you're set. My energy level is top of the line right now. Uh, I don't usually crash. I, I get my energy from people, so I plan on being energized the whole night. There's always an hour hour or two where it starts to get a little tiring, but you just walk it off. You know, have a good time, and it's awesome. The less you think about it is probably the best way to do it. Um, just to just to think about, uh, think in short term. Um, just like you're running a race and you're just gonna get to the next tree, you know. Um, so don't think about, oh, we have so many more hours. Just think, I'm gonna make it through the next hour, and then the rest will take care of itself. Pretty exciting. Uh, I feel like kind of like just before halfway is sort of the low point as far as your energy goes, but then uh, you really just get a lot of stuff going on, and you know that now you're counting down instead of up, so it becomes a lot more fun. Best part so far, I'd have to say hmm, the walk outside at Keenan Stadium because it's a good change of pace, a good refresher to get from indoors to outside, see the sunrise, it's a good time. But just the energy from everyone in. <clears throat> um, it's been really beneficial, and dancing isn't really that hard. Yeah. Right? Um. We are an hour, what, 22 now? Oh, I'm man. feeling great. I'm ready to, oh, I'm ready to bond this thing out. Oh, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. Yeah. I'm not really tired right now, but I know as soon as I take a shower and hit a bed, I'll be out, so I'll probably sleep for like 16 hours. I'll give you all my energy. Oh, Actually, yeah, I got many dancers. I'll give you, you I'll it, among all of you. No, no, it's marathon. It's, um, it's totally worth it, and it's a great time. Um, and even if you try it once and don't like it, that's fine. But at least try it to, um, to first of all challenge yourself, um, but to mostly make a difference in um, the lives of the um, families and to have a great time because it is a blast. Jump up and down. <laughs> When Jack was born, he could not breathe on his own, and he could not eat on his own. He had a hole in his heart, had bleeding in his chest. His eyes were fused shut. You could see through his skin. He didn't look like a baby. Over 800 families have been touched by what you do in the NICU alone, and that's amazing. You know, I look up at the posters you all have created with such love and care. You all give me hope.